Hello everyone. I wanted to show you a stamp set that I received. Um, and it's, uh, I need to test it out and see how it's stamping. And when I want a quick card sometimes, I like to just, I have my base already scored and made up like this is four and a quarter by five and a half. It's a standard A2 card, size card. And um, I have these already cut up and put in a little thing that I keep. And I, when I make envelopes, I make up uh, several of them. I don't do just one. So uh, I have those already done. And that way when I need to make a quick card for someone or if something happens, I can get it done real quick. Um, so I want to show you, some of you had asked me to uh, show how I embossed on the envelope. And I've already got this one made up, but I'll show you how you can still do that, accomplish it with, without having a bunch of problems. Uh, somebody's watching. I can't tell who it is. My uh, thing is in the way. Uh, anyway, we'll get started. I've got to make up my mind. So let's get the, this is a real reasonable stamp positioner. Um, I think it's less than $20 and it works great. And I wanted to show that to you because some of you were talking about how expensive the stamp positioners are and they are expensive, I agree. So what I do with this one, it's kind of hard to see it, um, but I try to always make sure I have it up at the top where this ruler is and all the way over to the left. That way if I have to re-stamp something, I can, but I'm hoping I won't have to do that. Uh, it's brand new, so it's hard to get off of here. But I'll show you how you can do embossing on the card and the envelope. If I can get it off, good grief. Sometimes I wonder if they put glue on these things. Hope I don't tear it. Thing is stuck on here like crazy. All right, I want that as much in the middle of that card as possible. I might have to get a ruler. Yeah, I'm that picky. All right, two and then two, and this would be the zero. And if you take the ruler, if you're wanting something at the, the top, if you'll take that ruler and make it on the stamp positioner, you can make it straight like that. And it's kind of bowed because it was such a pain to get off of there. So we'll see. Let's see if we can get that. I can tell. Now what I want to do is I want to push on that to make sure I don't have a bubble in it. If you have an air bubble in there, then you will not get a good stamp and we're wanting to emboss. So we want it to be perfect as perfect as it can be. And this has lines on it, and I can see that it's showing that it's straight. We'll see about that. Now, since I'm embossing, I want to do both. I want to do the top of the card and the bottom and get it all done at one time. And I'm thinking that this would be nice to put on there. So let me pull this off. Good grief. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> wow. You know, I think they did have some glue on it because I see some residue on there and it shouldn't be that way. All right, I need my little ruler. It's 
that's about right. And let's see if I've got plenty of room between the, yes. And get it down and we'll mash on it to get that picked up. It is a brand new stamp, so they're not so easy when you first get them. And that looks pretty good for the card. All right, now to get the moisture out of, all you're doing is getting, make sure there's no finger, your fingerprints on there, greasy, but just take baby powder and rub it on the card. Or you can hit it with your heat gun. Knead the moisture out of that card when you're gonna emboss. I'm gonna do it with gold. So I'm gonna have it sitting there ready to go. Now this is a clear embossing. Um, I don't even know what kind this one is. Ranger, it's Ranger for embossing. And since that is a new stamp, I am really testing myself here because new stamps don't do real well sometimes. So, give that plenty of time Don't mesh on it so much to you can move this clear stamp. It is, um, I can explain it to you later. Let me, let me get this done first. Now what I'll do is I'll be real careful with it. Don't touch it. You got to get that embossing powder on there. Don't worry, we're not going to waste any of that. I'm not liking this up here, but I don't. There we go. It's not great, but we'll see, okay? Now, there we go. Put that to the side, put that top on it so no, no more stir or anything will get in it. And I've already got my heat gun started. I'm, I started it while go, but I, I got to heat it up just a little bit. Yeah, it's already hot. And your paper's gonna curl. This is just Nina cardstock, 110 pound. Looks good. You can tell if it's done or not. You, it has to be complete. All right. Sorry for the noise. It's done and it done real good. I don't know if you can see that shine, but that is just really pretty. I love the embossing. It is really, really pretty. So 
So see there? Now we'll go ahead and do the... Uh, I'm not even going to... All I'm going to do is just wipe that off a little bit. That will actually condition these stamps. So you don't have to wash, wash it off. Some people say you do, but you don't. It actually gives... Uh, it's a conditioner for them. All right. Got that back on there. Now we'll get the envelope. Put it on here. And it's going to be a little bit harder because it's... Um, let me see. I really want to use this stamp set, but the only thing I got is that. And that would work, but I've got one that I used on my mother's when I did hers. I don't know if it's too big or not for a, hers was much larger. I did, you know what, that'll look pretty good. And you can tell I use this a lot for my envelopes. I really like it. And embossing, you don't have to worry about um, water or anything. Um, I can tell that it's even. We're going to go with that. We're going to do it with this. I think it's much prettier. That stamp's been used, so <laughs> it's, in, it's perfect. Now, what I normally do is I do not make up the envelope before I emboss it. This is already done, and um, I got messages asking to see this process, so I wanted to make sure that I showed it to you before I forgot. I'm going to put that baby powder on the... And this is just cardstock that I did the envelope with, so... And I moved that. I saw it. Let me see if I've got it right. Mm -hmm. I know I'm getting it out of frame, but I had to look at it and see. I did move it, so I need to... No, that's way off now. You want to get this part right. Okay, that's perfect right there. All right. I handled that, so I'm going to put that back on it again. Get this with the embossing pad. Took all my rings off and everything because you don't want that stuff to get on them, that's for sure. All right. Now, what you can do is do it with color, and you can make sure that you've got this on here. But this one has been used many times. I do a lot of envelopes with this. All right. done it good. I never have a problem with older stamps. The newer ones are a little finicky, but believe me, they'll get used and you can work with them. If I was smart, I would have baby powdered this sheet before I'd done that, and that stuff would have rolled off of it with no trouble. All right. Beautiful. 
you always want this hot before you start. it. Isn't it a beautiful envelope though? And this, uh, I, I can just sit a book on it and it will be fine. But that's, that's so pretty. I really love that. And it's simple. It's easy. It doesn't take long to do it. You just have to have the stuff together to do it with. Now, this is cooled down and I'll show you what I'll do with it. This is just a We Are Memory Keepers scallop. And this is the Art Glitter Glitter. Takes very little, it don't take a lot. You don't want to wet that paper a whole lot because like I told you, it is cardstock. It's good cardstock. Nina is a, a real good. I want to make sure I have this straight. Your day blooms with happiness. There. And all I have to do is write or stamp it. Most of the time I write it, a uh, sentiment on the inside. But uh, that's it. You can just, I have my little symbol on the back and I'll put this under a book, address it. And a lot of the real fancy ones when I, when people, um, you know, commission me to do their, their wedding or their cards, I will take and put uh, silver or gold on the inside of their, I line it, in other words. So whatever's embossed here is, it matches the inside of it. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but um, you've seen my mother's uh, card that I made her for Mother's Day, and I wanted you to, you wanted to see the process, and this is it. So it's really you know, simple. It's not hard. So, and I, I think the gold, it just is so pretty, you know. I think it's just, and it's got that touch of black. You know, it's real classy. Um, and if I wanted to, I could do the edges here, but I, I like that. I think it's pretty. But it's just a simple card, you know, to wish some of these people that are going through so much right now. So, that's how you do it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the short video. God bless you. I hope everyone is staying safe and being careful. Until next time, keep crafting. Bye for now.